tried to do this a little bit earlier, but it, it messed up. But here we are again, talking about things being balanced, uh, not being balanced, but always being equal in marriage. Not being balanced, but always being equal in marriage. Amen. This brother did a Praise the Louis radio show. So basically, it's this. The Lord put on my heart to talk to you guys about Matthew chapter 20. And I will read it as I go. But basically, it says here that uh, for the kingdom of heaven is like an, a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers to go into his vineyard. Well, basically, what it's talking about is how he hired some people at the sixth hour, the ninth hour, and the eleventh hour to do some work. And at the end, of, at the end of the shift, each one he hired, he hired them at different times. So that means. One set of people did 11 hours worth of work. Somebody did six hours worth of work. Somebody did three hours worth of work. And somebody did um, and somebody did one hour's work worth of work. And they all got the same pay. And <clears throat> a lot of people don't understand how marriage works. Marriage is just like this. Marriage, your efforts in your marriage will never, ever, 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 ever be equal. They will never be equal. Understand that... Um, I'm married, I've been married for 23 years, 24 on December 11th. Um, I married my, my best friend, Adrian Legale McPherson, beautiful woman. That is my boo. But I want you guys to know that that all this, um, you know, um, you know, I'm a, you know, some people look at marriage as this, like I'm gonna go out and I'm going to um, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm going to cook dinner. And then on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, he's going to cook dinner. And then on Sunday, we're going to go out to, get, to, to dinner together with the kids. No, it don't work like that. It never works like that. And if you're looking for things to be equal as in, or balanced as in, he's going to do exactly what I do. It, will, it never works out like that. It will be equal, but never balanced. It will be equal, but never balanced. What does equal mean? Equal means this, in this sense. It means, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to you? The efforts that I put forth for my for my wife, what does it mean to her? Amen? Like, um, I may need my wife as a person, certain, certain things that I like. I like for um, my wife to pay attention when I speak. I like for, um, this is some, some of the likes I have. I like for my wife to, um, I love when my, my wife lets me know that I did a good job. I like a little boy, right? <laughs> I love that, you know, and if I were to work all day like a dog and, and with my hands and came in grimy and dirty and... And my wife was home all day, and, and, and I've been doing this for the last five days. And she kissed me on my head and said, babe, I appreciate you. Thank you for being a, um, a great man. Or thank you for working. That would be equal to me. That would be equal to me. People say, what? How can that be equal? You, you, you dug ditches all day with your, hand, with, with your bare hands. How could that be equal? Because that's what I need. Cause that's what I need. That's what I need. It will be equal. It's never balanced. She's not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna require my wife to go out and dig a ditch with her hands. But what I'm saying, it will be equal, but never balanced. People say, well, the, the words really mean the same thing. I understand that, but just follow me for this. Just, just for a teaching sake, amen. Um, this equivalency is is. is it's necessary thus in marriage. A lot of you guys who are about to get married, y'all keep thinking, well, she's going to bring in 50% of the money and I'll bring in 50% of the money. She's going to work 40 hours. I'm going to work 40 hours. And we're not going to go too far over because that we're going to leave no family time. Ain't lie. Ain't wrong. Ain't, ain't going to happen. I can tell you now, we, we will always make time for one another. I got a LeBron going on right now. So yeah, I'm Stephen A. Smith. But anyway, no, no, not Stephen A. Smith or LeBron. Anyway, but um, a lot goes on with marriage that we have to understand. And these laborers for, ran into the same thing. Because in, uh, later on in the chapter, is Matthew uh, chapter 20, basically they wanted the same thing. Like, you know, they wanted, um, a, I'm sorry, a greater thing. Because they said, well, we work nine hours. Why, we work 12 hours. Why would somebody who worked one hour get the same thing if I got? Because it was equivalent. Amen? It was equivalent in the Lord's eyes. And to, and, and it's like, to me, God saying, you all did the same thing. You all did what I said to do. 
go out and to work into the vineyard. That's what I ask you to do, right? That's what I ask you to do. And so some things I need for my wife to do for me, that's what I ask. And some things like my wife loves me to do. Like she loves for me to go to the zoo with her. She loves for me to rub her feet. And people say, well, you just rubbed her feet, but yet you got her to cook you a meal that took her four hours to do, and yet you only rubbed her feet for a half an hour? How is that? How is that balanced? How is that? How is that balanced? It'll never be balanced. Your marriage will never be balanced. It will never be balanced. Someone will always work more. Someone will, all, will always talk more. Someone will, al will always give more. Someone will always do more. But it will be something coming back to you in the reciprocal. In the reciprocal that's going to help your marriage. Amen? So don't ever think that your marriage will ever, ever, ever be balanced. It will never be balanced. It will never be balanced. It will never, ever be balanced because... Our level of the things that we need has to, it will always be equal or equivalent. In other words, I need two minutes of your time to equal a whole day's worth of work. That will be equivalent to me. That will be equal to me. I love it. I love it when my wife pays attention to what I'm saying because I like to talk. That's why every time I'm doing one of these, I'm probably by myself because I get inspired. And I got I to do it now. You know what I mean? And I'll do it now. Um, even on the show, I talk more than my wife. I'm just a talker. She's more of a, uh, she's, she's a talker, but not like I'm a talker. Like my life, my wife loves to, uh, my wife loves to read books and she likes to talk about them. I'm not a, I, I'm a self-help reader. I don't, I, I read self-help books and, um, she likes to read both. She likes to read novels and self-help. So, Basically, I have to listen to about the books and I start to, you know, because why? I love her. And so that's the equivalent for her. For her, she'll talk for an hour and a half about a book, you know, that I've never read, you know, but I'll listen and I and I get feedback and, and, and that's good for her. And so when we're laying in bed at night and she's talking about that, she listens. And guess what? After she finished listening, she'll listen to me. Lord have mercy, I love it. But anyway, I'm telling you, men, women, you're about to get married. Know your marriage, will, your efforts in your marriage will never be balanced. But they always will be equal. Never balanced. Always equal. Brother D of the Praise Hallelujah Radio Show, GTownRadio.com, 92.9 FM, Philadelphia, baby. But go to GTownRadio.com every Saturday. From 10 to 12, and you'll hear us talking. Much, much love. I love you guys, and see you guys on Saturday. Got a hot show coming up for you. Much love, Brother D. Amen.